Lavaliers are the most visually discreet way of miking your on-camera subjects and can even be hidden entirely. But often users don't know the simple tricks to hide lavaliers on their subjects. That is why we are going to show you five easy ways to conceal lavalier microphones and their cables while still getting great sound. Before you spend the time to hide the lavalier, consider this. Concealing a lavalier is vital in many cases, especially when filming a narrative film or television show. But if the lavaliers do not have to be concealed, don't do it. Lavaliers sound much better and will be much easier to set up if you don't have to hide them. If you do need to hide them, you are in the right place. Follow along as we show you five easy ways to conceal a lavalier microphone. Before we dive into the five tips, we want to teach you common mounting techniques that we will use throughout this video. First, we are going to show you how to create a strain relief loop to guard against tugs and jerks that will ruin your take. And then we will show you the two taping methods to attach the microphone, the tape sandwich and the encapsulation method. To create a strain relief loop, loosely make a hoop in the cable about two to four inches below the mic itself. Then with a small strip of cloth gaff tape, sticky side out, loosely fasten the hoop so the cable moves freely within the loop. Using a small piece of string would work as well. This provides much needed strain relief in case the lavalier's cable gets tugged on during the shoot. Taping a lavalier anywhere is easy, as easy as using cloth gaffer tape, adhesive moleskin, or medical tape, and taping it wherever you want to hide the mic. Adhesive moleskin is often a favorite to use when taping directly under clothing, and you can apply it directly to the skin. Moleskin excels at reducing the sound of fabric rustling against the lavalier and sabotaging your audio. A high quality cloth gaffer tape works great on clothing and props, but we would not recommend using gaff tape directly on the skin. For that, adhesive moleskin or medical tape is a much better choice. Here are two excellent taping methods. First, the tape sandwich is an extremely versatile and discreet taping method that keeps the mic secure and avoids noise. To make a tape sandwich, start with two small strips of adhesive moleskin or tape with one slightly longer than the other. Then place the lav without the windscreen on the sticky side of the shorter strip with the top of the mic right at the top of the strip. Now sandwich the shorter strip to the non-sticky side of the longer strip, leaving a little extra space at the top of the longer strip. Securing the lav like this protects the lavalier from external contact and noise. The sandwich tape method is very versatile and can be used in many scenarios, especially in places with limited space, like under form-fitting clothing. Now, we're going to review the encapsulation method. This method does a great job of isolating the mic and makes it easy to securely stick almost anywhere. Start with two three to four inch strips of cloth gaff tape Fold each in a triangle shape, end over end, sticky side out to create two triangles. Then encapsulate the lavalier without the windscreen between the two triangles, making sure not to block the sound ports at the top of the microphone. Once completed, you've created a protective encapsulation that can be stuck anywhere and protects the mic from clothing noise and friction. There are also a ton of excellent products you can buy to tape secure and encapsulate the lavalier. And we've included a list of these great products below. But these simple techniques work just as well if applied correctly and cost a fraction of those devices. And once either of these methods are completed, you can really tape the lavalier anywhere you'd like. So let's get started. In business, formal, or even casual environments, collared shirts are very common and they provide some of the easiest ways to hide a lavalier. Let's start at the top, the collar. Run the cable down the back of the subject's shirt, then slip the cable under the collar of where you want to place the mic. Tape it in place with a small strip of tape at the entry point, then add a second piece of tape here for strain relief. Then tape the lavalier using a tape sandwich to the edge of the collar just out of view. Always try to orient the mic to the side the subject is most likely facing. For instance, if the person they're speaking to is to the left of them, they will be facing left or slightly to it. So mounting the lavalier on the left is the best choice. If the subject is going to be facing forward, it doesn't make a difference. Another great place on a collared shirt is right at the top of the third button, which is usually right in the sweet spot. 
about six to eight inches from the subject's mouth. The encapsulation method works great here. Securely tape the lav behind and slightly above the third button, about six to eight inches from the subject's mouth, and use a small strip of tape to secure the cable on the inside of the shirt. Hiding a lavalier behind a tie, jacket, or coat could not be easier. Giving so many places to hide the mic, we could not cover them all. So, here are a few easy tips that will work great. Run the cable under the subject's shirt. Then, slip the lavalier through the button flap approximately six to eight inches from their mouth. Due to the double-sided stickiness, using the encapsulation method works great here and even keeps the tie in place. Jackets and coats also are an easy spot to conceal a lavalier. The lapels of suit jackets and sport coats are open in the sweet spot and it is so easy to tape the mic right inside the opening. Overcoats and jackets can be unbuttoned or unzipped to open this area too. Run the cable inside the jacket, securing the cable before and after the strain relief loop. Then, tape the lavalier inside the jacket, six to eight inches from the subject's mouth, and you are good to go. If the coat or jacket is buttoned all the way up, use the button flap method from the collared shirt portion of the video. If it's zipped up all the way, use the next method we are going to cover. Concealing a lavalier on the skin on an undershirt or bra is quick, easy, and effective. When taping on the skin, use adhesive moleskin or medical tape only. This is for the comfort and safety of the subject. Start by securing the cable to the lower torso with a small strip of medical tape before and after the strain relief loop. Using either the sandwich or the encapsulation method, tape the mic six to eight inches from the subject's mouth. Then conceal with a shirt or top. If the subject doesn't want the tape directly on their skin, you can mic the inside of their clothing using medical tape or gaff tape. Run the cable up the subject's back, securing the cable to the back of the bra and strategically along the strap of the bra, mounting the lavalier dead center between the cups with a tape sandwich. Then, conceal with a shirt or top. Not everybody wears collared shirts, jackets, or ties. Often, people wear t-shirts, sweaters, blouses, or other casual tops. For these clothing options, here are a few simple but effective ways to conceal your lavalier. If your subject is wearing a low-cut top or a v-neck t-shirt, it is very easy to just center the mic right on or very near the sweet spot. You can even expose the lavalier out of the opening without it being visible on camera. Here, we are showing how we tape the mic to the inside of the shirt. The shirt is inside out for demonstration purposes. When it is a crew neck t-shirt or high cut top, taping the mic at the collar can be too high. The shadow of the chin can make the mic sound muffled when mounted dead center. So in those cases, you can orient the mic to the left or right of the subject's chin, preferably on the side the subject will most likely be facing. If the shirt is especially form fitting or the fabric is sheer, you may have to run the microphone's cable up the back of the subject, then along the collar to the center, just make sure to discreetly tape the cable around the neckline collar to keep the mic secure. Hats and hair provide an excellent place to hide a lavalier and still capture great sound. Hiding the lavalier in the brim of a hat couldn't be easier. Simply run the cable up the back of the subject's shirt, taping it in place. Then run the mic cable into the hat, taping it into place and tape the lavalier to the brim of the hat just out of sight. For a knit hat, tape the lavalier to the opening of the hat, right to the top of the subject's forehead. Mount the lavalier with the tip, just exposed out of the opening of the hat for best results. If the subject is going to be in a close-up, you can conceal it entirely. For hair, you can secure the cable to the hair using bobby pins, barrettes, or in a pinch, a mic clip. But when it comes to mounting the lavalier to the subject, every scenario is different, depending on the subject's hairstyle. For a man or woman with short hair, you can secure the microphone to the top front center of their head using bobby pins or a mic clip. For a man or woman with long flowing hair, you can mount it to the top or either side of their face out of view when covered by their hair. The mic can be secured using the mic's clip, bobby pins, or short strips of medical or even toupee tape. The positioning will vary from person to person depending on their hair and the action in the production. Obviously, these hair tips and tricks only work if the person has enough hair to hide the lavalier. 
If you have a black lavalier, like most people do, these tips will only work with darker hair. If a subject has lighter hair, choosing a lavalier that is beige, tan, or white, depending on their hair color, would be a much better choice. Wasn't this video called five easy tips for concealing a lavalier? Well, tip six is a bonus, and many people don't consider it, but using props to hide laves is fun and easy. But the camera angle in Mike's proximity to your subject is key and works best in a static scene where your subject's distance from the microphone doesn't change. Here is a simple scene where we hid eight laughs. Do you see them? Let's look again from a different angle. There is one behind the wine bottle. There is one behind the candle. There are two right on the table's edges. There is one under each plate. There is one behind the bowl and one under the napkin. No one would use eight lavaliers to make a simple two-person scene like this, but it illustrates the point. A little creative thought makes it possible to hide a lavalier almost anywhere. And there you have it, five easy ways to conceal a lavalier microphone. Be sure to check out our other video, Five Easy Lavalier Mic Tips and Tricks for Better Sound, linked here for detailed demonstrations and ideas on how to get the best sound out of your lavalier. Also, Subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this and some innovative products from Saramonic that help you sound remarkable.